Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie, and on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, we're doing things a little bit differently. For today's episode, this was actually kind of inspired by St. Patrick's Day and a recipe we found online on Jillian Harris's website for these vegan shamrock coconut pea lime pie tartlets. We were planning on making them for St. Patrick's Day. Right. However, kind of ran out of time. Yeah, and when we ran out of time, my mom ended up picking up this Daya lime pie cheesecake from the store. Right. Oh, so we had the ingredients to make both, and we thought it'd be a fun experiment to try making key lime pie from scratch, and then comparing it to the store-bought key lime pie to see if it's worth the extra effort it is to make homemade. So we'll have like a couple of criteria. So the ingredients right. for one, if it's healthy for you to eat. Time saving, which is important to moms. Yes. And then also just taste. What one tastes better? Definitely taste is like a prime criteria. Yes. So if you guys want to see what we think of these key lime pies, keep watching. So I have Julian's recipe here. She made little tartlets. Unfortunately, we couldn't find vegan graham crackers at our grocery store, but we did find this organic um, crust. It's like a crust made out of spelt. So we're just gonna cook this up and then make one big one. And that way too, we'll be able to have like kind of similar comparison. Right. It's not too far off. Yeah, so we're gonna start with Jillian's recipe first because it's gonna take obviously longer. Move pie shell from freezer, thaw, which we did. Prick the bottom with sides with a fork. So we are cheating a little bit on the crust, but I mean, not All too right. much. Pricked it. Pricked it with a fork. Bake the empty pie shell in preheated oven on the center rack until golden brown. 10 to 14 minutes. Okay. Crust done. For the filling, you need a cup and a half of raw cashews soaked overnight or for 10 minutes in boiling water. Boiling, boiling water. water. Always boiling. do boiling water. As one of my things about Jillian Harris that I love, she has like little quick tricks to making vegan stuff faster. If I got this perfect, I'm gonna be so impressed. Did you? Yeah, yeah, one and a half cups. Yay. Nice Good job. So while we're waiting for the water to boil, we're just gonna start to prep the rest of the ingredients. So we need a half a cup of coconut oil. So I'm just gonna measure that out here. It has to be melted, but we'll wait till our cashews are done boiling to melt it. When that melts, we'll have plenty. I feel like we'll have less than plenty when it melts. Mm -hmm. oh, plenty. Wanna make a bet? Sure. All right, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is less than when it melts. You have to do the dishes, and if it's more, then I have to do the dishes. A half a cup of maple syrup. All right, so we've pretty much prepped everything that we can. We just have to wait for our cashews to boil. Again, it takes a little bit longer to make something from scratch. It's not always fast. No, but you can set time with yes. somebody really nice and you know drink coffee so and sweet. chat. Thank you. Thank you. And we can also talk about the Daya packaging while we wait for all this stuff. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Daya. I've tried their cheeses before, did not they like the taste help. of them. But I have an open mind to this. So Daya deliciously dairy-free key lime cheesecake. You have to let it thaw out for four hours, so you do have to think ahead if you're going to serve this. But I mean, if you're having dinner and you know this is going to be your dessert, it's yeah, not yeah. too hard. Let's look at the ingredient list though. So filtered water, creamed coconut, cane sugar, coconut oil, tapioca starch, non-GMO expeller pressed, canola, and or saffle oil, which isn't, canola oil is not that great for you. Potato starch, pea protein, isolate, key lime, juice concentrate, vegan natural flavors, sea salt, vegetable, glycerin, sodium, so now we're getting into stuff I can't salt. even. Lactate acid vegan. So rule of thumb, you can't pronounce what the ingredients are. Don't go there. I mean, it doesn't look all too bad, but there's some that I'm not sure about that we'd have to look at. But it has, what's the percentages oh, though? <laughs> it has 16 grams of saturated fat. It's, you are getting what you're gonna get with this. It's not like you can see and understand everything that's going into it. So personally for me, I'm team Jillian right now because I know everything going into the other ones. Definitely, I think anytime that you can make something homemade, it's better. And plus, Homemade for your guests as a dessert yeah. is always appreciated. So I'm pro make it from scratch because I have time. Spoiling, so my mom's gonna add the cashews in now. All right guys, so cashews have finished boiling. We just drained them. So we're gonna add in them to our food processor here. Half a cup of maple syrup. And a half a teaspoon of matcha powder. 
Our coconut oil is in our microwave melting, if you can hear that. I'm excited to see if we got half a cup out of it. Dish duty. And why are we doing this? This is to add green color. Green color. Okay, I'm doing the dishes. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Oh yeah. Thanks. Are you ready for this? Yep, got it in. And because it was in the microwave, make sure you use mittens because you don't want to burn your hands. Yeah. One line down, three to go. All right. You can juice this one now. Okay. I just feel like zesting. You never zest the entire line, so I wonder if people think about that when they do the recipes and they tell you to do like an extra one to make up for like the little bits of the other ones that you missed. I hope they do. Okay, so we've added all of our ingredients in now. Okay. Our lime juice, our zest. We're gonna use our high-powered food processor so it's gonna get a little loud here. Mm. I don't wanna tell them anything. Okay. All right, we're gonna plate these now and then we'll come back to do the taste test. Okay. All right guys, so then we realized they're kind of two separate dishes. One's a cheesecake and one's a pie, but they're both key lime flavored. Right. So what we're showing you guys here is if you want to go homemade or store-bought, what we think is the difference. So far for look, we, we had really to, had to dress this guy. Yeah, when we poured it out of the packaging, it looked like, I'll put the clip in here, it kind of just like plopped onto the plate, really unappetizing. So we did some lime zest over it, uh, the coconut whipped cream on top with some wedges of lime. This one I thought was really pretty. It's not as light, like a pastel green as I thought it would be based off of the pictures on her blog, but it's pretty cute for how it is. For our rating wise, I would say they're both not healthy. It's definitely more natural than cheesecake. So, what are we trying first? Cheesecake first? Okay, let's do pie first. Let's do pie. It isn't nice. It's not as lime as I thought it would be. But we can adjust that though. Yeah, it's like creamy. But it might be better as a tart. Well, it's supposed to be a tart. Yeah, it's supposed to be a tart. I mean, we made it as a pie, but probably better as a tart because then you get more pastry. Yeah. I'm giving this one double thumbs up, though. I really like Jillian Harris's. And it didn't take that long for us to do. Like, that's a pretty easy dessert if you're having people over. Especially this oh, yeah. time. I'm, I'm liking this. Okay, I'm going to try the cheesecake now. It tastes really artificial compared to what we just did. It tastes like a cheesecake that you buy at a store. So for being vegan, I don't think it's that bad. Okay. I'll give you that. I actually don't mind that at all. I, I think, think that tastes pretty good. I think this one's more natural. Yeah. For me personally putting right. something in my body if I want to feel myself, I'd stick with the tartlet. But if you're looking for a fast dessert, dessert, right? But any other store-bought dessert that you're looking to please people with for dinner, mm -hmm. I pick up this cheesecake and I'm totally confident that it's gonna taste good for my guests. After you dressed it up. After you dress it up. Both are good, but one's just not as clean as the other one. Right. Okay, we hope you guys enjoyed this taste testament experiment. We've never really shot a video like this before, so bear with us if it was a little bit choppy choppy or rocky. But thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Let us know if you want us to try out more videos like this. Like maybe we could try out one of the Daya pizzas next time to compare to homemade pizza or another vegan food store-bought brand to let you guys know what we think of it, if we think it could pass as like a normal non-vegan food. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and we will see you guys next Thursday. Bye guys. Bye guys.